So, you ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, welcome to a new installment of Programming with Her. So today, we're going to be talking about Bulbasaur. Ivan, would you just tell us what Bulbasaur is? Sure. <clears throat> so Bulbasaur is an example of a class of swords known as the Shinar Swords. Compared to Jason and the Shinar Swords. Stop! I can't do this. We have to set up this. Now. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Now you say, ka! Bum blade, bum 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 blade. But no! Bum 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 sword is an algorithm that scans through an array from left to right, comparing adjacent elements. Whenever two adjacent elements are out of order, it swaps them. This process repeats until the entire array is sorted. So, an example would be sorting colors in order to appear in a rainbow. So, the original um, sequence is red, orange, yellow. Green, blue, and the going purple. So say red is not where it's supposed to be, and green is there. So the order is green, red, orange, yellow, blue, and the going purple. What's supposed to happen is it's going to switch from red to green. So it's going to be red, green, orange, and it'll keep sorting until the original sequence is found again. Now you might be wondering why? Why, why? why? is it called bubble sort? Think of it like a bubble rising in a liquid. The largest value has risen to the top of the prestigious list. It's not that serious, man. Like, calm down, man. I gotta steal my thunder like I was just about to finish. Like, why do you always do this? Another variation of Bubble Sword is Cocktail Shaker. It's pretty much the same concept, however, on odd number passes. The larger value moves to the top of the list, and an even number passes, the smaller value moves to the bottom of the list. Also, on the bubble store, cocktail shaker starts from the beginning to the end, and it goes from the end to the beginning. So now, we're going to show you an example of a cocktail shaker sort algorithm put to use with real life examples. So you have this 8 megabyte memory card, this 16 gigabyte micro SD card, this 32 gigabyte USB, this 64 gigabyte phone, and this 320 gigabyte PlayStation 3. All right, so first, let's just randomize everything. Okay, so now everything is out of order and you wanna get the smallest item at the left hand side and the largest item on the right hand side. So remember, on odd number passes, the larger valued item moves to the right. On even number passes, the smaller value moves to the left. So let's start. Pass number one. You have a 32 gigabyte USB and a 16 gigabyte SD card. So now these two will swap. So now you have this 32 gigabyte USB and this 320 gigabyte PS3 they will not swap because the PS3 is larger than the USB so now you will look at the 8 megabyte memory card and the 320 gigabyte PS3 these two will swap because this one is smaller and this one is larger so the larger one will move to the right on the odd number pass now you will look at the PS3 and the phone the phone is only 64 gigabytes while the PS3 is 320 gigabytes so now these two will swap. 
when the PS3 is in its correct order. And now, instead of going from the beginning, you will continue from the end. So now you go in the reverse direction. So you look at the phone and the memory card. The phone and the memory card will not swap because the memory card is smaller and the phone is larger. Now you will look at the 8 megabyte memory card and the 32 gigabyte USB. These two will swap. And this SD card with 16 gigabytes and this 8 megabyte memory card will swap. Done. And you go again. Let's go faster. And we're done. The 8 megabyte is on the left hand side. 16, 32, 64, 320. And that's Cocktail Shaker. Alright, so now we're gonna talk about the good and the bad. So the good thing is, is that it's easy to understand and to use, and that's pretty much it. Now the bad. It's extremely inefficient and slow. Probably the slowest sort ever invented. It's extremely inefficient and slow. Probably the slowest sort ever invented. It's extremely inefficient and slow. Probably the slowest sort ever invented. <laughs> Like don't even bother using it or learning it or using it in your code. Like you don't take my word for it. Take the word of the President of the United States of America. Uh, the bubble sort would be the wrong way to go. You see that? Even he said not to use it. So don't use it. Still do it. For once, don't do it. Don't listen, Nike. Just don't do it. Well, now that you get the gist of the sort, we're going to teach you how to implement using the code. Alright guys, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to implement the bubble sort algorithm in Java. So um, let's start by making a class. We'll call this sorting gum because that's the example I'm going to use today. So we'll start with our main method, public static void main args. Alright, so first we're gonna have a boolean flag. So this will pretty much tell us when the, if the array is sorted or not after it has gone through the algorithm or while it's going through it. Alright, so now let's make a string that we could test on later on using the algorithm. Let's call it string gum because we're going to be using different flavors of gum as examples today. So um, let's just pick some random ones. Uh, trident, stride, or else is there double bubble, mm, juicy, juicy fruit, and let's say Excel. All right, so now we're gonna need a for loop because the array will be going through the algorithm several times until it is sorted. So for and top, so the top is pretty much the end of the list, so the last value in the list, which will be less than the array's length by one because the array goes from starts from zero instead of one. And the top has to obviously be greater than zero. And it also has to be not sorted because if it's already sorted, then there's no point of the array going through the algorithm. And since we're starting from the top of the list, which is the end, it will be decreasing until the last value. Alright, so first we're gonna set sorted to true, and then we're gonna have another for loop. Int i equals zero, and i less than top. So now this is this for loop is going to be used to go through the entire array and checking to see if the adjacent elements are should be switched or not. Now this if statement is where it's all going to happen. So you're going to need to compare the adjacent values, and if they are to be and if they need to be switched it will switch them and if not it will stay the same so to do this we're gonna need to use the statement gum 
which is our the name of our array so the value at that index uh, compared to the value of the index it is beside so the value it is beside is greater than zero then the algorithm will know that it is not sorted and will have to switch all right so this if statement will compare the two adjacent values and if the value it is beside is greater than zero meaning the the next value on the list is greater than the previous value then it knows that it is not sorted so sorted will be set to false and now it will have to switch the two values so for this you're gonna need a temporary variable to store one of the values in the array and now this will now you will need to write gum gum and the index after it so this will place the next value into the previous value causing them to be in order and then the value of the next index also needs to be switched so remember that temporary variable used that yeah that's where this value will be placed that's where the temporary value will be placed and there you have it that's our if statement close up these loops and now to test it we're gonna need another for loop just to display the values once it's sorted so int i equals zero this is just to display the array gum dot length and i plus plus i mean this is just uh to display the array this is pretty much our check and this display yeah, I don't want to make it too complicated, I just wanted to show that the algorithm is working. And if we did everything correctly, then the correct order should be double bubble, Excel, Juicy Fruit, Stride, and then Trident. So let's test this baby out, compile it. Um seems to be that we have an error. Oh I just don't need alright. Compile this should be fine. No, oh, let me see an equal sign, just, just minor errors. Run it up, and there you go double bubble, excel, juicy fruit, stride, and trident. And that's how you use the bubble sort algorithm. Thank you for watching. And that about wraps it up for today's episode of. We we'll leave you with this video of DBC International 19 performing demonstration of the bubble sort algorithm. Enjoy. Chicago, Jay. I can like a dish, Chicago, Jay. What does the Nazi do?